Thanks for watching. So today I want to explain a little bit about the different breathing techniques that you can use in surfing in order to pump yourself up or to calm yourself down. So as you already read in the blog or in the course, depending on your optimal level of tension, you want to actually increase your tension consciously or you want to decrease the tension consciously. And one of the ways we can do this is through breathing. So let's say you want to pump yourself up. You want to get more energy, more tension in your body. Then it's really good to speed up the breathing. So what we can do is the breath technique, which is called breath of fire. It's basically pulling in the belly button while breathing out through the nose. So So simultaneously you're pulling in the belly and you're breathing out. And when you do that, even for a few breaths like I'm doing right now, I can feel the heart rate increase and I can feel the fire in my system going up. So this is an amazing way and super, super simple, even by doing this one minute, to pump up the system. It might require a little bit of training at the beginning because your belly might not be moving so flexibly or maybe you're not used to breathing out quickly from your nose. There's a lot of beautiful um, material on YouTube to practice the breath of fire. So definitely check it out. If you want to make it more simple, you can also just make the inhale longer than the exhale. So we go. In, for example, for a count of five, out for a count of two. When we do that, we'll also see that the energy goes up. When we want to do the opposite, so we want to calm our system down more and we don't want to increase fire but we actually want to increase the water in our system and de decrease the fire and then we want to do the opposite so we want to either prolong our exhale saying breathing in for four and breathing out for eight Even by doing that single breath, I already noticed that my nervous system is calming down and that the parasympathetic nervous system is starting to be activated. So that's the nervous system that actually relaxes us and decreases tension and muscle tension in our body. So this is one of the ways. Another way, for example, is to do belly breathing. And a good way to practice this is by placing one hand on the chest, let's say the right hand on the chest and the left hand on the belly. And then we're trying to only breathe moving our belly. So what we're trying to do is not to move the chest at all. Because when the breathing is more here, we'll see that the breathing doesn't flow as naturally. So we want to really only breathe in and out through the belly. Sometimes that takes a little bit of practice, but the more easy it gets, the more easy it will be to send your breath down to the system and to really allow it to go down to the belly and relax the system. This is called belly breath breathing. And that's something once you master it, which you can do very quickly also in the ocean. So let's say big waves are coming and you feel the tension build up, then it's a very easy breathing technique to do for a couple of breaths. You pedal back to the lineup or you pedal behind the weight and then you do a couple of belly breaths and you will find that the nervous system calms down really rapidly, really quickly. Another way is what we call quantum breathing. And quantum breathing is basically box breathing. It's four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, four seconds hold.
Another technique that you can do super easily in the water. Just by doing a minute of box breathing, you might notice a difference. So what I recommend is trying out these different breathing techniques. Seeing which one you resonate with. Which one have the strongest effect on your body. And then starting to apply them in the water. By checking in on your tension level regularly. And seeing what kind of breathing technique you need in order to get your tension level to an optimal level of performance. The more you practice with this, obviously the easier it will be. And the easier you will also start making adjustments in the system. Let me know if there's any questions. Just a short explanation about all the different breathing techniques in surfing and in sports in general. And yeah, sending you so much love.